going on, people? My name's Timmy Joe, making videos about computer. Boo! Computer parts, right there. All up on the internet. And today on the program, we got, well, a video card to review. And with the impending release of the 3080, 3090, the insane performance it's gonna bring, I thought, this week, let's do the complete opposite, because two gigs of VRAM, buddy. Two gigs of VRAM. Lowest, lower end card, lower endest card. Uh, of 2016 for NVIDIA and uh, 950 and two gigs of VRAM. We're playing CSGO and uh, well, this guy creeps around. We see here that, uh, well, if we go into the settings and we check out video, uh, we're on the highest settings for uh, CSGO here. We're on the highest settings and we're actually at the native screen resolution of my monitor here, 2560 by 1440. Yes, we're playing CSGO at 1440p, and uh, we're getting 90 frames a second, even pops up into 150 once in a while. So as far as a use case for a GTX 950, here it is. It's buttery smooth, and we're at 1440p, looking great, I mean, as if, and uh, oh, no one's in the... No one's in the market. That's unusual. Can we kill? Can we kill? Oh, AFK headshot. We killed somebody. It counts. This is awesome performance. If you're looking to pick up a 950 or a 1050, as we will see, we got one, we got two headshots. We got two headshots. This is running beautifully. Then uh, eSports titles seem to be running absolutely just fine. Ah, and he took me out. I knew he was in there too. Seem to be running just fine on this card. So, you know, just showing you the use case for this card because the whole idea behind this video is two gigs of VRAM ain't cutting it anymore for AAA titles. Lower end cards like this basically get yelled at by modern video games and either don't launch because the video game like this like, has protection built into it saying, hey, I won't run with less than three or four gigs of VRAM, or it starts putting limitations on the resolutions and quality settings, like Doom Eternal wouldn't let me go above 1080p low settings. It was crazy. Red End Redemption wouldn't let me go above 900p with the lowest settings with this card. Just wouldn't, and it ran it at that resolution just fine. But that VRAM buffer, it obviously needs such quick access to the VRAM that using a spillover into your system memory is, isn't kind of a thing for modern titles anymore. So if we look at this, this is an EVGA GTX 950 SSC version, and uh, it's a really nice card considering. And uh, I got it up there near 1500 megahertz almost. It, it really won't go that high. I'll show you the overclocking. Well, here, we'll just, we'll show you the overclocking settings. I'm at 90 on the core, which would be uh, above this 1393 uh, boost clock, getting her close to 1500 megahertz. And uh, memory's at plus 300, power limit's up on it. And I mean, it doesn't really get hot with this cooler on it because it's not a very powerful GPU and that's a pretty damn good cooler for a 950. So we check out, uh, you know, the 1050, it actually doesn't fare much better and it has the exact same amount of VRAM. It might do better in some titles, but if we go check out down here, 950 is only 6% slower. So I'm talking about the last couple of generations worth of lower end cards here, just not being enough for 1080p AAA games anymore. It's it's kind of sad, but check out my 3D Mark Fire Strike score. I got almost 7,100, which is pretty damn good. So if we compare this 3D Mark Fire Strike score to another similar system with a 1050 in it, we see it gets very similar results. So I'm just kind of pointing out that I'm talking about the 950, kind of the 1050 at this point. Only difference with the 1050 is it's a smaller manufacturing process, a little bit less power, uh, you know, it sucks a little bit less power. And this has a six or eight pin power connector when 1050s almost never do. So or I'm pretty sure it actually never do. So that's the kind of thing. And I watched a bunch of YouTube videos comparing the 950 and the 1050, and they seem to be pretty par on par with performance considering they came out within uh, well, a year and a bit of each other, a year and two months of each other. That kind of makes, uh, makes some sense but uh now at like four gigs is kind of the uh the, the main lower end and uh here i'll go ahead and take the card out so we can have a look at it maybe i should have got up and actually tried to pull it out properly i'm gonna break my computer anyways gtx 950 <laughs> 
Uh, we'll, we'll run some benchmarks. This is the version I have here. There is a for the win version that would have a backplate, but uh, as far as EVGA coolers go, this comes back all the way to the seventh and uh, Kepler series. Definitely had these uh, coolers and shrouds. This is an, a three heat pipe uh, cooler on it, and it barely ever spun the fans up while gaming, so it does a pretty good job of cooling it. I mean, we were just running Counter Strike, and it's not very warm, so. Let me get to why I believe the two gigs of VRAM is an issue. We'll pop up some benchmarks, and when we come back, we'll do a little conclusion. <laughs> well not particularly i mean uh surprised me call of duty did pretty good i mean it was pretty much lowest settings 1080p but it was almost getting there near 60. fortnite high was uh pretty damn doing, doing well uh i had it at medium at first and it was hitting 100 frames a second so i was thinking that was pretty good and then you know other uh other games doom eternal doesn't do too too bad but pretty much uh half the games i tried got mad at me uh for attempting better than 1080p lowest settings and some games wouldn't even let you run 1080p higher than lowest settings and red dead redemption stuck me to 900p at lowest settings and that's what can fit in vram buffer these days on AAA titles so as far as it goes for two gigs of vram unfortunately i think we're kind of getting done with it but there's always a use case for these cards you want to play some older games? You know, if it was made like three, four years ago, AAA titles, you might be doing medium settings with this. Any, uh, you know, MOBA, you know, uh, should be all right. League of Legends, Dota 2, Rocket League, eSports titles should rock this thing. No, no problem. I bet this thing plays Valorant. I should have checked that out uh, pretty well. But uh, as far as, uh, you know, two gigs of VRAM in 2020, all of those AAA titles uh, pretty much were stuck at lowest settings and any higher the game just wouldn't turn on or it would and have severely lower performance so the days of switching out your vram to your system memory just not really a thing anymore in the days of playing 1080p 60 frames a second on any quality settings for this guy in triple a games in modern games well, it's pretty much a done deal as well. So I'm going to watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. I'm going to say that uh, I do like this little GTX 950. And, uh, you know, it did provide uh, some degree of performance in the certain, you know, the right game. 1440p CSGO. That's, that's pretty cool. But uh, as far as should you buy one of these, not unless you're expecting to just play games before 2018 at medium or lower quality settings at 1080p. Or you're looking to play some, uh, you know, online strategy games or MOBAs or whatever you're gonna do, then you might be fine with it. But uh, 
two gigs of VRAM, four AAA titles, totally dead here in 2020. Going forward, we might see that these cards won't even launch at all. So that's something to think about. So I'm out watching me join Instagram, Twitter. Enjoy the rest of your week. 30, uh, I think Friday, 3080, that's gonna be fun. So I thought I'd take us, you know, a little bit backwards and see where we're coming from with two gigs of VRAM here in 2020. If you're not looking so hot, I feel bad for you if you're still rocking the 950. But maybe you're happy with it, and that's all that counts. Thanks very much for watching. At Watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. See you later.